Hello guys, in this tutorial we are going to learn how to do interpolation in MATLAB. This is basically a technique for adding new data points within the existing range of data points. So here we will be discussing about 1D and 2D interpolation. So let's get started. So let's start with the 1D interpolation. Let's say you have a data set data.txt and let's first import the data and plot it. Okay, let's plot it. So as you can see, the data looks scattered with very less number of points. So let's do interpolation using MATLAB inbuilt function. Now all you want to want to do is to define the number of points we need for interpolation. So for this case, originally we have 20, number of data points is 26. So as you can see, so as you can see from for the existing data we have 26 data points. So let's make the data points to 500 and see how does it look. So let's define a new array which has a 500 data points. Now let's check the number of points. So now we have 500 points. So now let's do the interpolation. Now the command is so in this case x is your x axis, v is the y axis, and xq is the number of points required to do interpolation, and method is the num is the method which which you would like to do interpolation. It can be linear, cubic, or spline. So why new? Now let's plot these two curves together. So the blue represents the original data and the red curve represents the interpolated curve. So as you can see the interpolated curve looks much smoother than the blue curve. Now we can try other function. Let's try linear interpolation. So in case of linear inter interpolation you can see that the blue curve and the red curve matches exactly with each other. So now let's try cubic interpolation. So this is how the cubic interpolation lo looks like. So depending on your requirement, you can choose what kind of interpolation do you need. If, if you want this curve to be smooth, you can go for spline or cubic interpolation. But if you want this curve to look exactly how it looks in the original data, you can go to the linear interpolation. Okay.
Okay, now let's check an easy way to visualize a 3D interpolation or a 2D surface interpolation. So let's create a set of data sets X and Y. Now let's create a 2 cross 2 matrix of X and Y. So this is X and, and this is my Y. Okay, now let's define a function Z. Okay, now let's plot it. So let's run it. As you can see in this plot, it looks much of a scatter kind of data set. So now if you do an interpolation, now let's do an interpolation of this color. So now we'll, we are going to do interpolation using P color. So as you can see, this is the original data and this is with interpolation. So by just so by just using the command setting inter, you can do F interpolation across the surface. So in this way, you can visualize the original figure and the inter interpolated one. However, if you want to do a rigorous 2D interpolation, you need to check my video on grid data. That's all for this video. If you like this video and want more this kind of tutorial videos, please hit the like button and consider subscribing channel. Thank you and see you in the next video.